Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the second tutorial in the series of tutorials on Perl and in this tutorial we'll be talking about comments as well as the difference between single and double quotes in Perl. So to get started I have a script opened up in my uh, IDE here. It's called quotes and it has the extension .pl and uh, in this file I have uh, several print statements and along with the print statements I have uh, some other statements like I've got two comments here and then I've got the shebang line on line number one and then I've also got a variable declaration and assignment on line number nine. So I've got a lot of fancy stuff and uh, we're going to talk about some or maybe all of uh, whatever I have in the script in greater detail in the future tutorials but for the time being I just want to highlight a couple of things so you know let's just uh, get going so to create a comment in Perl you use the hash symbol or the pound symbol and I want you to take note of uh, the text I have on line number three uh, a comment is a string of text that you include in your program to just uh, make it more uh, comprehensible so that if you are looking at your code six months later you know what's going on in your program or if someone else is looking at your code then uh, the person can maybe better understand whatever you've written and uh, I have uh, a comment that spreads over two lines so in some programming languages like C++ you know you have a way of uh, making a comment multi-line in Perl we do things really simple by putting a hash at the beginning of any line which is a comment right so this line is supposed to be a comment that's why I've got a pound symbol here and this one's supposed to be a comment as well so this is a comment and it will just be ignored by Perl and on line number six I've got a print statement this is uh, very similar to the print statement that I had in the previous script the one that we checked out in the last tutorial so this is going to display the text hello world and this thing this combination of characters the slash and the alphabet n is actually a new line escape sequence and what this does is after printing the text hello world it shifts the cursor to the next line right that's what uh, this does if suppose you would put this at the beginning of hello world then even before the text hello world is printed the cursor would automatically move to the next line and uh, the escape sequence slash n or for that matter any escape sequence would work only if you enclose the escape se sequence within double quotes so if you are printing using the print statement you have to ensure that your uh, your text that has the escape sequence is enclosed within double quotes only then will it uh, be interpreted otherwise it would just be displayed so uh, to highlight that difference on line number seven I have a similar print statement but this one has a text enclosed within single quotes and not in double quotes so slash is going to be displayed and the cursor will actually not be shifted to the new line uh, as a result of this then on line number nine I have uh, created a variable called my underscore var and we're going to talk about variables in more detail later on but in Perl we create variables by using the dollar symbol so you put the dollar symbol and then give a name for your variable I have called it my underscore var and then if you want to give it a numeric value you just put the equal to sign put the value that you want to give to it and then just terminate the statement with the semicolon right on line number 11 I am going to try to print the value of this variable using the print statement so for that I am first going to display some text right and uh, since this is not going to result into the cursor moving to the next line I have a slash and escape sequence at the beginning of uh, the text in this print statement so we're going to print value of my variable a colon and then I'm just going to type the dollar symbol and the name of my variable to get the value right so you don't have to put a dot here concatenation or whatever nothing's required you just put a dollar symbol and uh, the name of your variable and then after that if you want to print more strings then you know just simply type type the text on line number 12 I have another print statement this one has uh, the same thing going on it's just that instead of double quotes I have single quotes and uh, like escape sequences if you're using single quotes with the print statement the values of variables are not displayed so instead of seeing the value that's stored in my var you're actually just going to see the text dollar my underscore var so anyway let me show you the output of the script so this is how it is line number six results into hello world 
and then as a result of this escape sequence we've got the cursor on the next line and then on line number seven I have a print statement which is in single quotes the text hello world with the escape sequence is in single quotes so we see the text but the escape sequence has not been rendered so we see slash n instead of the cursor moving on to the next position and this not appearing here we see this and then uh, since we are not printing this on line number nine just the variable has been created and then on line number 11 I have a print statement to see the text value of my variable and then we are seeing the value 20 whereas uh, the print statement that I have on line number 12 is uh, showing me the text value of my variable but instead of showing me the value it's just displaying the name of the variable right so I hope we have uh, managed to understand the difference between single and double quotes in Perl and uh, we're going to talk about some of uh, these concepts uh, later on as well hope you had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next video till then take care